सो वेलकम माय इंग्लिश बुक चैनल आई होप यू लव माय चैनल एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो दैट अदर्स वीडियोस एंड अदर क्लासेस मे कम टू योर रूम एक्चुअली और टू योर हैंड वेरी इजीली सो दैट्स व्हाई यू हैव टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इंग्लिश बुक एंड नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू लेसन द लेसन इज कॉल्ड टेल्स ऑफ चाइल्डहुड द ऑथर नेम इज रोअल डॉल so what's the correct pronunciation it's your roll okay roll doll and we are the human beings we are love to talking about our childhood days we are all men we are love to talking about our childhood days and also we remember the so many things what happened in our childhood days okay suppose the person who are in Seventy uh, years or eighty years. If you ask them what happened when they went to the first day of a school or what happened when they are in a primary school, they can easily tell you what happened in their life. So something we are not forgetting. Okay, and also this incident also happened with that author Roald Dahl. He also sometimes can't forget all these things for, to his life. Okay, and he also share his ideas, share his experiences with us. Okay, and the tales of childhood is coming from his uh, autobiography, Boy, the Childhood. So, do you know what's the meaning of autobiography? Autobiography means a person who writes his biography. If the person is the himself, okay, then it's called autobiography. If I write my biography, then it is autobiography. And if I write Sachin Tendulkar's biography, then it is not called biography. Autobiography. It's called biography of Sachin Tendulkar. So this is the difference between autobiography and biography. Now we are start our journey. So my father Harold Dahl was Norwegian. So do we you know what the who are Norwegian? Norwegian means the person who lived in Norway country. Then the person is called Norwegian. Suppose we are Indian because we live in India. That's why you are Indian. In the same way, the person who live in Norway, the person is called Norwegian. And also, do you uh, all know the Norway name? Why it is so famous? Because the Nobel Peace Prize is given in that country, Norway, Oslo. Okay. And also, Norway is also famous because the world happiest country is Norway. HDI. Okay. So let's start. Was a Norwegian who came from a small town near Oslo called Sparsberg. So who came from a small town near Oslo? It's also your adjective clause. Why it is adjective? Because it qualifies the noun. That's why. So his own father, my grandfather, was a fairly prosperous merchant. Prosperous means unnoticeable, okay? Or you may call it it's uh, affluent. Prosperous merchant. Do you know what's the meaning of merchant? Merchant is your trader. So merchant who owned a store. Again, adjective clause is using owned a store in Sparsberg and traded in just about everything. From cheese to chicken oil, he is a trader, so he supplies everything from cheese to chicken oil. Do you know what's the meaning of chicken oil? Actually, see this picture. So this type of oil is called chicken oil. Okay. Next, my father had lost an arm when he was fourteen. So, when he was fourteen, it's your adverb clause. Time adverb of time is here. Fourteen, but had become a successful ship broker. Do you know what's the meaning of broker? Broker means who supplies everything. Then the person is called broker. So, ship broker. So, a ship broker is a person who supplies the ship. With everything it needs when it comes into port, fuel, food, ropes, paint, soap, towels, hammers, nails, and thousands of other little items. 
a sieve broker is a kind of enormous shopkeeper for ships so enormous means big enormous shopkeeper for ships and by far the most important item he supplies to them is the fuel on which the ships engines run in those days only coal so in those days the ship engine runs in which way it's your coal okay only coal the fuel the main fuel was coal he set up a ship broking farm at cardiff of south wales my father met my mother sophie magdalen helsberg during the summer of 1911 and were married soon after okay so next in 1918 when i was 2 so when i was 2 it's also adverb clause again using here when i was 2 we all moved into an imposing country mansion beside the village of radier about 8 miles north of cardiff so why mile amra ki korlam onek dure chole elam imposing imposing means impressive mane khub sundor jeta look lage impressive at to look at mansion beside the village of radier okay so i remember what i have already told you that if the uh, incident is very much important to your life or it's happening to your life in past time no one can forget that incident in a uh, life long keu bhulte pare na tar jibone oi incident ta je incident that incident which incident is uh, happened to your life in past time prothom bar je ghotona ta ghote tomar sathe no one can forget it so that's why also the author can't forget that type of incident here so i remember it as a mighty house a mighty house bor ekta ghor ha with terrace on its roof terrace means baranda ta charidike baranda with majestic lawns ekdom darun ekta bagan majestic lawns a very big you know and terrace all around it there were many acres of farm and woodland farm and woodland and a number of cottages for staff very soon the meadows do you know what's the meaning of meadows meadows is your tinobhumi mane phaka je jayga ta je jomin moto jayga ta chilo meadows are full of milking cows so kise kise bhutte hoye jacche eta milking cows and the styes were full of pigs styes do you know what's the meaning of styes khoar kise khoar shukorer khoar ba shorer khoar so styes styes were full of pigs and chicken run was full of chickens chicken runs where chicken are dekha chicken ra thake seta hocche chicken run chicken run was full of chickens there were several horses for pulling the plows means langol dite hobe to keshe e gulo ki bhabe korche kara korche na oi horses gulo korche and the hay wagons ebong ei je ghora gulo arekta ki kaj korchilo hay wagon oi je mal gari gulo hoy na যেখানে মালপত্র নিয়ে চলে যাওয়া হয় তখন তো এরকম ব্যাপারটা চোখে কাকের ঘটনা ধরো এটা তো ঘোড়ায় টানা গাড়ি বলতে পারো সে ঘোড়াটা এই কাজগুলো করতো অ্যান্ড দেয়ার ওয়াজ আর কারা কারা থাকছে দেয়ার ওয়াজ এ প্লাউ ম্যান কাউ ম্যান কাপল অফ গার্ডেনার্স অ্যান্ড অল ম্যানার্স অফ সার্ভেন্টস ইন দ্য হাউস ইট সেলফ তো এত ধরনের জিনিসপত্র ছিল অ্যাকচুয়ালি ব্যাপারটা হচ্ছে কি আমাদের লাইফে অনেক সময় কি হয় যে আপ অ্যান্ড ডাউনস থাকে সো দ্যাটস আর অলসো হ্যাপেনিং দ্য অথার্স লাইফ সো जर्नलिस्ट <laughs> when i was still only 3 so when i was still only 3 it's your adverb clause when i was still only 3 my mother's eldest child my own sister astri died from appendicitis she was 7 years old when she died so when she died again clause astri was far and away my father's favorite our baba ko priyo chilo it's very favorite to my father and what happened he adored her beyond measure and her sudden mane pochond rokom bhalobashto he adored her loved very much he adored her beyond measure and her sudden death left him literally speechless 
for days afterwards and literally speechless মানে একদম যেন বোবার মতো কথা বলা বন্ধ হয়ে গিয়েছিল এরকম ব্যাপারটা হলো সো হি ওয়াজ সো ওভারওয়েলমড মানে এত বেশি দুঃখ পেয়ে গিয়েছিল উইথ গ্রিফ দ্যাট হোয়েন হি হিমসেলফ ওয়েন ডাউন উইথ নিউমোনিয়া আ মান্থ অর সো আফটারওয়ার্ডস হি ডিড নট মাচ কেয়ার হোয়েদার হি লিভড অর ডাইড মানে এই ঘটনা পরে পরে সে নিউমোনিয়াতে আক্রান্ত হয়ে গেল সে বেঁচে থাকার মতো সে নিজে ঠিক করতেই পারছে না actually if they had penicillin in those days jodi she shomoy penicillin thakto but it's a very old days no penicillin was there that's why this type of disease has dead the person very easily but today we are not going to dead if the person is in pneumonia or appendicitis so it's a very small disease now but that day it was a very big disease but today is corona is available now hmm so is that every uh, if they had penicillin in those days neither appendicitis nor pneumonia would have been so much of a threat so do you understand what that the uh, meaning of that sentences that would have been so much of a threat but with no penicillin or any other magical antibiotic cures pneumonia in particular was a very dangerous disease indeed the patient had to fight to survive beche thakar jonno lorai korte hoy tobe beche thakte pare but my father refused to fight kintu amar baba ei khetre refused to fight she kono lorai kora manushikotay chole geche because he was so overwhelmed with his grief because his eldest wife died very soon okay so my father refused to fight he was thinking i am quite sure but dekho bolte jaichen i am quite sure of his beloved daughter man tar baba sobshomoy tar beloved daughter er kotha chinta korto and he was wanting to join her in heaven and he was wanting se chei chilo tar shonge dekha korte kothay mittur opare so he died he was 57 years old next so what i am telling telling you that after good days bad days is coming that's also happening so my mother had now lost a daughter and a husband all in the space of few weeks kichu kono kichu diner moddhei she tar shami ke haralo she tar me ke haralo here she was suddenly having to face all alone the very gravest problems and responsibilities so what happened then his father has died so all the responsibilities come under his mother okay so and mother look after all their daughter daughter all their brother and sisters and also that total uh, responsibilities hmm? so all because the father has no more now that's why it's also happening so suddenly happily to face all alone very grave problems and responsibilities she had five children to look after so five children to look after look after look after means dekhbhal kora dekhte hocche nurturing ta dekhe korte hocche she told the she sold sorry she sold the big house and moved to a smaller one so ja hoy the not too much money had left then so she sold the big house hmm? and moved to a smaller one a few miles away in landaf it was called cumberland lodge and was nothing more than a pleasant medium sized suburban villa so it was in lelamp two years later when i was six year old that i went to my first school so what i am telling you that when we are going to their first school so no one can forget that day that first school i was there and what happened uh, who are coming from uh, coming to me and told or asked my name what's my name was and i answered them my teacher's name okay and who was my bengali teacher who was my math teacher all the name i always remember that person's names so because that's why my first school or first schooling life in my life the also happening here the school was a kindergarten run by two sisters so what i'm telling that always remember that name so mrs corfield and miss tucker and it was called the elementary house it is astonishing how little one remembers about one's life before the age of 7 or 8 it's astonishing le bo bolche ki eta mone rakha hoy erokom bhabe and i can tell you all sorts of things i am tomader somosto bhabe bolte pari that happening to me jeta amar shonge ghote chilo from 8 onwards 8 saler shomoy 
but only very few before that i went for a whole year of entry house but i cannot even remember what my classroom looked like kintu kichu kichu ghotona to mone rak thakto pare but i can't remember what my classroom looked like kemon chilo classroom ta dekhte but someone also remember what that what the classroom looked like nor can i picture the face of mrs cordfield or mr tucker one somoy tader naam ta mone rekhechi but their faces i forget all these things ha bhule gechi tader face ta ami although i am sure they were sweet and smiling i do have a blurred memory for sitting on the stairs and trying over and over again to tie one of my shoelaces but that is all that comes back to me at this distance of the school itself মানে স্কুল যাও যেমন দূরে চলে গেছে আস্তে 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 এই পুরো ঘটনাটা আমার কাছ থেকে অনেক দূরে চলে গেছে সব ঘটনা কিন্তু আমার পুরোপুরি ভাবে মনে নেই অন দা আদার হ্যান্ড অন্যদিকে আই ক্যান রিমেম্বার ভেরি ক্লিয়ারলি দ্য জার্নি ইজ দ্য মেই টু অ্যান্ড ফ্রম দ্য স্কুল বিকজ দে ওয়ার সো টিমেন্ডাসলি এক্সাইটিং কিন্তু অন্যদিকে আরও কিছু কিছু ঘটনা আমি এখানে মনে রাখতে পেরেছি মানে এগুলো জাস্ট একটু পড়ে নেবে এখানে বেশি কিছু বলার তো কিছু নেই তার জন্য দ্যাটস আই এম নট গিভিং এনাফ টাইম টু ডিসকাস অল দিস থিংস ওকে great excitement is probably the only thing that really interests a 6 year old boy and sticks in his mind man in this passage the writer wants to tell you or tells us what he remembers why he remembers that those days because he excitement when he rode to his school with his tricycle with his elder sister and what happened when they are going their school and when they return their school what happened to their life that is the whole story is in so this is your tales of childhood royal doll okay do you understand and it's very good story and some questions answer also is there suppose in activity 2 is there that uh, what's the narrator's grandfather was so narrator's grandfather was a sheep broker and harold dal was lost his arms hmm, at the age of 14 a sheep broker is a person who supplies the sheep with everything in the country mansion beside the village of radier there were many acres of farm and the woodland and number of cottage for the stuff so just wait for days or one or two days i definitely upload the uh, video of your activities the all activities from the tales of childhood okay and today is your explanation class i hope you enjoy this class okay thank you very much